Hello everyone, Bilal Akiyat Cove here. And in version 6.0, we now have a new commands page that you can use for your viewers. You can set up a command that allows the viewers to check all of the different commands you have in one simple view. So to get started, we're just gonna head to the chat bot and then you'll see commands. Commands is over here on the top right for me. Uh, just make sure this is on. And then when it's on, you'll see you can set your command name. For us, we're just using exclamation point commands which is also newly added in 6.0. You can update your command, so lights list. If you don't want to use that as the name, you can change that. You could also change the lights command as well, turn them on and off. From here on out, you may want to use the commands instead of the lights list anyway, so we'll turn that off and we'll have exclamation point commands. Our message to send is going to be check out the list of commands that can be used here. Then you have your commands URL as a variable. So for our message, we're going to have check out the list of commands that can be used here. And you have your commands URL variable. You'll see the variable right here. You may use the commands URL variable to check out the list of your commands. We also link to it right here as well. And this can be used all throughout the app, so it doesn't just have to be used on the chatbot commands page. Um, but if we click this, you'll see the list of commands I have right here. So in an, early, in an earlier tutorial, I was using a command called cool. So you'll see that cool command right here and everyone who can use it. You could even filter by your user level. So if you're only a follower, you wanna make sure that you have follower click, maybe anyone as well. And then you can filter by, based on that to see the commands that you can use. If you're a tier three sub, you get to see what you can use there and so on and so forth. It's a nice clean page. If you all have any suggestions on how we can improve this, please let us know. Uh, you can also see your Twitch points down here as well. You'll see that that's in a separate section for Twitch points and you have your Twitch extensions. One other quick feature is if you press this back button right here, you'll see it's going to loomingstream.com slash commands and it will list the current users who's live at the moment. There will be a, a quick preview to see their stream in the future. Um, so that was, you know, another cool thing. So Lumia stream was the latest one. These are the people in the beta at the moment. If I got a, you know, Sam Wilson, I can see his different chat commands that he can use. Uh, you know, he has some only specific for users and mods. Uh, and then he has his Twitch points as well. Also, the command name can be used in chat, of course. So if I go to, then I can put XMH point commands and you'll see it show up in chat, that chat bot message that we had. And it'll open up your stream. And it's really that simple. We also have another variable that's re been recently added. We have user levels. So you can see what your user level is in chat. Uh, so if I refresh this and go back to chat and I can put XMH point commands and you'll see my user level. So I'm a user, a tier three sub, tier two sub, tier one sub, tier one sub, and anyone. And also that can be used throughout chat commands as well as Twitch points, the user levels variable. If you're interested in any more variables, we have a tutorial linked down below in the description that we just added. And we hope you have a luminous day.